Hello, I'm Vivi, a Trust and Safety Manager here at the AWS office in Cape Town, South Africa. Today, I'll show you a few different security measures that you can take to secure and protect your Amazon account and its resources. So let's get started. First, let's discuss strong passwords because they are an important security measure. It's a best practice that passwords are at least eight characters long, a combination of letters, numbers, and symbols. By using a unique username and strong password for the root user, you can make your account more secure. Additionally, it's a best practice to avoid using the root user account for administrative tasks. Instead, consider using a sub-user account with the appropriate permissions. Now, I'll walk you through how to change your password to make sure that it provides strong security for your account. In the upper right corner of the AWS console, choose your account name or number. Then choose Security Credentials. To change your password, choose the Edit Account Name, Email, and Password button. Choose the Edit Password button. Although you can set an account password policy for AWS Identity and Access Management users, that policy doesn't apply to your AWS account root user. AWS requires that your password meet these conditions. One, as a minimum of eight characters and maximum of 128 characters, including a minimum of three of the following mix of character types, uppercase, lowercase, numbers, and special symbols. Two, a password that is not identical to your AWS account name or email address. The second security measure that you can take to protect your account is activating multi-factor authentication. MFA can help secure your account and prevent unauthorized users from logging into accounts without a security token. For increased security, it's a best practice to configure MFA to help protect your AWS resources. You can activate a virtual MFA for IAM users and the AWS account root user. Activating MFA for the root user affects only the root user credentials. IAM users in the account are distinct identities with their own credentials. This means that each identity has its own MFA configuration. Let's see how to configure and activate a virtual MFA device to use with your root user. In the navigation bar of the AWS console, choose your account name, then choose Security Credentials. In the MFA section, choose Assign MFA Device. In the wizard, enter a device name, choose Authenticator App, and then choose Next. IAM generates and displays configuration information for the virtual MFA device, including a QR code graphic. The graphic represents the secret configuration key that's available for manual entry on devices that don't support QR codes. Open the virtual MFA app on the device. If the virtual MFA app supports multiple virtual MFA devices or accounts, choose the option to create a new virtual MFA device or account. The fastest way to configure the app is to use the app to scan the generated QR code. If you can't scan the code, then enter the configuration information manually. The QR code and secret configuration key generated by IAM are tied to your AWS account and can't be used with a different account. They can, however, be reused to configure a new MFA device for your account if you lose access to the original MFA device. To use the QR code to configure the virtual MFA device, choose Show QR Code from the wizard. Then, follow the app instructions for scanning the code. For example, you might need to choose a camera icon or choose a command such as scan account barcode, and then use the device's camera to scan the QR code. Or in the setup device wizard, choose show secret key, and then enter the secret key into your MFA app. The device will start generating six digit numbers. In the wizard, in the MFA code one box, enter the one-time password that currently appears in the virtual MFA device. Wait up to 30 seconds for the device to generate a new one-time password. Then enter the second one-time password into the MFA code 2 box and choose Add MFA. The device is ready for use with AWS. The third security measure is taking precautions to protect any API and resource that you've exposed to the public. You can do this by setting up access control lists to manage access to your Amazon Simple Storage service buckets and objects using the IAM feature to grant only the permissions required to perform a task. Monitor your resources on a regular basis to detect unauthorized access attempts using AWS CloudTrail and Amazon CloudWatch in conjunction. 
Amazon S3 ACL permissions allow you to manage access to buckets and objects. Now let's see how to set ACL permissions for a bucket. Sign in to the AWS Management Console and open the S3 console. In the buckets list, choose the name of the bucket that you want to set permissions for. Choose permissions. Under access control list, choose edit. Then edit permissions for your S3 bucket. An additional security measure that you can take is using encryption for any sensitive data that you store on your resources. Data at rest encryption capabilities are available in most AWS services, such as Amazon Elastic Block Service, S3, Amazon Relational Database Service, and more. All S3 buckets have encryption configured by default, and all new objects uploaded to an S3 bucket are automatically encrypted at rest. Let's see how to add or change encryption for an object. Sign in to the AWS Management Console and then open the S3 console. In the buckets list, choose the name of the bucket that contains the object. In the objects list, choose the name of the object that you want to add or change encryption for. The objects details page appears with several sections that show the properties for your object. Go down to the default encryption settings section and choose edit. The edit default encryption page opens then, edit your encryption settings for an object. And now you know a few different security measures that you can take to secure and protect your Amazon account and its resources. Thanks for watching, and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. <laughs> <laughs>